as far as how you might go about this. Um, along with senior management, uh, in, you might include auditors, compliance, technology, and legal staff members that can help ensure you're, in, you're considering all of the potential risks when you're conducting your assessment. Bringing other talents to the analysis rather than relying on just one person will help you to make better decisions. It gives you a, a more breadth uh, of looking. And again, uh, how many people you involve is, again, very much dependent on the importance of the, and the, the complexity of the third-party vendor relationship. Probably more important for a core provider, again, than your cleaning service. So, and with these team members, you should also define your requirements for the vendor as far as their performance criteria, internal controls, reporting needs, and any sort of contractual requirements. So this assessment process is not only about asking questions about whether or not you should be uh, outsourcing the relationship, but also, if you do do it, what kind of uh, requirements would you ask of your, of your vendors? So after completing the general assessment of the risks relative to the institution's overall strategic plan, um, you should also review uh, the institution's ability to provide adequate ongoing oversight and management of the third-party relationship. So while identifying and understanding the risks with a vendor is critical at the beginning of a process. Long-term management of the relationship is vital to the overall success of the program. So not just about uh, identifying the risks, but you do want to also be able to uh, monitor that relationship as well. And vendor management is an ongoing process, and part of your 